Now, believe it or not, for the next four weeks, North Korea will lead the UN conference on disarmament in Geneva. This comes despite the regime's recent missile launches and rising speculation of a possible nuclear bomb test. Kim Dami with the details. The UN Conference on Nuclear Disarmament, chaired by North Korea, will kick off in Geneva on Wednesday amid growing concerns that the regime is on the verge of conducting a nuclear test. Founded in 1979, the Multilateral Forum for Disarmament and Negotiations discusses nuclear disarmament, bans on producing fissile material, and prevention of an arms race in outer space. Sixty-five member states chair the UN Conference in rotating four-week intervals. China, Colombia, Cuba, North Korea, Democratic Republic of Congo and Ecuador will take their turns this year, and Pyongyang has been leading the membership from Monday. Earlier this week, more than 40 non-governmental organizations, including the Committee for Human Rights in North Korea, called on UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres and member states to boycott these sessions. If the U.S. were to boycott this conference, it wouldn't be the first time, according to Radio Free Asia. The U.S. ambassador to the conference left the room in a show of protest when Venezuela and Syria chaired the forum three and four years ago, respectively. The North led the conference in 2011, which at the time raised eyebrows among nuclear and security experts, as well as the United States. Then senior U.S. Congresswoman Representative Eliana Ross Lettinen called that decision in 2011 quote, a classic example of the fox guarding the henhouse. Kim Dami, Arirang News.